Now, itong example naman natin na to, meron naman tayong missing na side. So, ito yung triangle natin, kailangan natin hanapin yung sixth trig ratio. Pero ang problema, katulad, hindi katulad ng example number one, lahat ng sides ay given. So, kailangan natin gumamit ng isa pang formula bago natin makuha yung or magamit yung SOKATOA. So, ang kailangan natin gamitin is yung Pythagorean theorem, which is given by hypotenuse squared is equal to legs squared plus leg squared. So, alam natin yung hypotenuse, which is 2. So, 2 squared is equal to 1 squared plus x squared. Kasi, missing yung x or missing yung leg na to, kaya x squared na lang siya. So, since sinahanap natin si x, solve natin si x by getting rid of 1. Subtract 1 on both sides. So, meron kang 3 equal to x squared. And to get rid of the exponent 2, take the square root of both sides. So, x is equal to square root of 3. So, ngayon, kompleto na yung triangle natin. Meron tayong hypotenuse, meron tayong opposite side, at meron tayong adjacent side, which is square root of 3. Galing yan dito sa formula natin na Pythagorean theorem, Kaya nakuha natin sa square of 3. Now, since kompleto na yung uh, triangle natin, pwede na natin kunin yung 6 trig ratio by using our formula. For sine, sine 30 degrees is equal to um, opposite over hypotenuse, which is equal to 1 half. Kasi opposite side over hypotenuse, kaya 1 half lang yung sagot natin. And for cosine 30 degrees, adjacent over hypotenuse, so we have square root of 3 over 2. And for tangent 30 degrees, it's, it's just opposite over adjacent, so you have 1 over square root of 3. However, kailangan natin irrationalize yung 1 over square root of 3 kasi may radical yung denominator. So, since alam nyo na kung paano mag-rationalize, 1 over square root of 3 is simply square root of 3 over 3. So, wala na siyang radical. So, for the inverses, meron tayong cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Kunin nyo lang yung reciprocal ng sine, cosine, and tangent respectively para makuha nyo yung other. Um, ratio. So for cosecant 30 degrees, reciprocal ng 1 half is 2. For secant 30 degrees, reciprocal ng square root of 3 over 2 is 2 over square root of 3. But since you need to rationalize it, you have 2 square root of 3 over 3 at yung cotangent 30 degrees is eh, square root of 3. So yan yung um, six trig ratio natin using the Pythagorean or using the Sokatoa. So, ito yung mga trigonometric function natin. So, kung meron tayong sine, alam natin yung sine is equal to y, at yung cosine natin is equal to x, dun sa xy plane. At yung tangent mo is equal to y over x. So, ito lang yung mga formula kung paano natin nakahanap yung iba pang six, six trig functions base sa xy plane. So, yung cosecant, secant, and cotangent are just the inverses of your sine, cosine, tangent. Kaya, mapapansin nyo, mga reciprocal lang yan nitong sine and cosine tangent. Ngayon, Always remember na dito sa unit circle natin or sa xy plane natin, instead of x and y ang gagamitin natin, cosine and sine na. Now, dito sa example na to, kailangan daw natin hanapin yung 6 trig function given the angle is pi over 3. So, kung pi over 3, special right triangle siya kasi nasa unit circle natin yung pi over 3. Pi over 3 is just 60 degrees. So, kung kukunin nyo yung unit circle nyo, makikita, makikita nyo yung 60 degrees will have coordinates as 1 half and square root of 3 over 2. So, you know na ito ay eh, cosine, ito naman ay sine. Kaya, kung hahanapin natin yung 6 trig function, meron na tayo agad na dalawa. Sine theta and cosine theta which is pi over 3 and pi well, pi over 3. So, for sine, square root of 3 over 2, kasi yun yung y value mo. At for cosine, pi over 3, yun naman yung 1 half. So, paano mo hahanapin yung other 4? So, yung tangent mo, alam mo, y over x lang siya, given the formula. So, i-divide mo lang si y over x para makuha mo yung square root of 3. So, square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half is simply square root of 3. So, ang tangent mo is square root of 3, base dun sa unit circle. Now, kung paano naman nakuha yung cosecant, secant, and cotangent since alam natin na um, inverses lang siya ng sine, cosine, tangent, kunin nyo lang yung reciprocal. So, reciprocal ng square root of 3 over 2 is 2 over square root of 3 pero kailangan mo siyang irrationalize kaya yung final answer mo should be 2 square root of 3 over 3. At yung uh, reciprocal naman ng cosine which is secant, 1 half is just 2. Kasi reciprocal ng 1 half is 2. At ang hinahanap natin is yung inverse ng cosine, which is secant. At yung inverse naman ng tangent, which is cotangent, 
kunin nyo yung reciprocal ng y over x, which is x over y. So, meron ka ngayon 1 over square root of 3, kasi square root of 3 is 1 over square root of 3. And then, irrationalize mo para yung cotangent mo square root of 3 over 3. So, yan yung paghanap mo ng 6 trig function given an angle, tsaka yung given ng uh, coordinates mo.